Mr. Yeah. Scott, you've appeared in this courtroom for two previous cases, one with DNA results yes. that proved you were the father of a child and the other that proved you were not. Yeah. Now you say you are here yet again yes. as the father of seven children with four different women to deny that you fathered child number eight with mother number five. Miss <laughs> Smith, you admit you cheated on Mr. Scott, but say you believe it was before you got pregnant. You argued that the only reason he's denying your daughter is because he can no longer control you. Furthermore, you claim <laughs> Mr. Scott scammed you into paying his travel costs when he visited you in Michigan, and you were asking the court to award you $1,500 for reimbursement of airline and lodging expenses. So, Mr. Scott, how did you meet Ms. Smith? Well, I met her on the website. You know, I was looking for love, and um, I went to a website, and um, I ran into, ran into Crystal. You know, four or five months into it, you know, it was started getting suspicious about certain things. You know, she gave me her voicemail, and I hear dudes in the background. I like, gave my voicemail, Pastor, because oh. I wasn't doing anything. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, true that. But then dudes are leaving voicemails to her, talking about, oh, you sexy. You had you girls leaving like, voicemails girl, on your phone stuff. and calling you. You ain't right. supposed to do that if you have I a man. Have dudes friends. are not, have well, dudes ain't supposed to leave messages talking about you sexy. And you ain't supposed to be calling like other people. So hold on, hold on, hold on. This is before you ever met her. Yeah, this is before, but we talked every day. She we told me so it wasn't about me being so controlled. Smith, was he honest with you about how many children he had? No, he was not. Yes, I was. I don't no, lie about my not. kids. I only thought so that he had five. you didn't know that Mr. Scott had two three-year-olds, two six-year-olds, no, a seven-year-old, a 12-year-old, and a 13-year-old. She knew about all no, my kids. She knew I about only all knew my about kids. five kids. She knew about all my kids because all my kids was on my page. How long did this relationship go over cyberspace? It was like eight months. About eight eight months. months. Now, fast forward. You finally make arrangements to meet in person. Yes. Correct. Yes, we did. You go visit. Yes. We had a mutual agreement that we were going to pay half. I paid for the whole trip for him to come here the first time, and then that his, ain't true. for his ride here. I paid for my here. own ticket to get there. No, he did she not. She paid for me to come back. No, you did not. She did that. I paid she for pay all our food, she... our hotels. You didn't have to pay uh, for the food. We were getting the, the food gas. from your job. I still had you to pay for it. You didn't have to pay for the food. He told okay. me that he was basically this big rich person from Hollywood. I ain't never said that. That he had a Hollywood. big house on the beach. That he had like six cars. He was taking pictures by different cars Damn. every day. Mm -hmm. Made himself, and he was making fun of people. They were on like assistance and stuff. Oh, <laughs> first of all, so I'm not, I don't even live in Hollywood. I never said I was rich. Yes, you I never did. said I like that. Yes, said, you did. I'm an electrician. I have my own bills and I have my own place, so I had to pay my own bills. It, it, and I have kids. So for me, in order for me to come out there and to pay all that stuff, heck yes, I had to stack all my stuff because I, I had have kids. kids also, and so I this is what I did. Everything. I could have came out there the next month, but if I would have if I would have came to Michigan that next month, there wouldn't even been no situation right now. Because that's not what I was looking for. I was looking for something serious. So we got together to when make he... that happen. I could have came the next week. She so wouldn't have told you me no. You said you were looking for something serious. Something serious. Mm -hmm. Related. So that's why it took me eight months to get there, because I was looking for something serious to make now, sure this is what it was. the last time you appeared in this courtroom, you said the exact same thing. So I want you to look at something that looks very familiar oh, to me. Oh, wow. Check that out. Oh. Were you in love with I wouldn't Mr. say it Scott? was love. On, on the internet site that I met him on, he <laughs> um, wanted basically the same things I was looking for. So, Ms. Kalan, you find out you're pregnant. Uh-huh. And then what? Um, he was uh, happy. He said, was, yeah, uh, quote, I, unquote, oh, mommy, we're going to be a family. Your Honor, when he came so, to Michigan, he was calling me mommy. That's what we agreed and on. That's what I mean. His, I mean, his we, that was an agreement? No, we, we, we want to be together. That's all it was. When that was my girl. When he was actually in that Michigan, his phone kept going off while we were at a restaurant. I'm not going to lie. I was quite embarrassed by it because it was just loud ghetto music. This was after the fact and that she cheated. <laughs> This is after the fact that she, she she's talking about. Okay, so let me go back to the beginning. I went to Michigan. She did not even greet you. She didn't greet you. She yes, didn't get did. out the car, give me yes, no hug, no kiss. I didn't want to kiss you. She but was. I thought you all were in a relationship. I was in a relationship with him, but it was we were she over the nervous. phone relationship. She was I was nervous. really nervous to she meet him in nervous. person. She was after blushing. She was red 20 everywhere. minutes of being in, then I was more okay. But right when we first met him, he wanted to be on top of me, all over me, like, give me a second to breathe. I'm like, that's my woman, eight months. What am I supposed to do? Uh, duh, duh, you know, so we get that's there. Why you got kids. We, we go around her family. Everybody's that's why like, you got so many kids because you always trying to jump. Give me a second to talk to you for a minute. To jump. Well, he just doesn't you have like a lot of kids. Uh, Mr. Scott, you also have a lot of women. We 
had it in court before women. that you had several women at the same time, and now yes, are we yes. adding Ms. Smith to, to the mix? Point. Let's get to that point. So when yeah, I, let's get to When it. I arrived in Michigan, she did not greet me at all. She took me amongst her family. Agreed. Everybody greeted me with love. It was like, hey, how's California? And whoop de whoop de whoop And is, is it nice out there? Is it sunny? I said, yes, it's nice out here, OK? So we go to her job. Everybody's questioning me about California. There's one guy in particular who does not say nothing because to nobody me at all. Cares about this you, dude Marcel. didn't look at me at all. I'm not stupid. I'm a very smart man. He had his head down. He was humble, just like this the whole time. He was scared uh -huh. to look at no, me because he, he knew something. No, he he must have did something wrong. So me being smart, I'm like, hmm, put two and two together. So we get back to the room. He texts her phone. She deletes his text message. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, she deleted his text message. Okay, so when I got home, I said, "Look, a universal cousin. Look, I promise you, I'm not gonna leave you. Just tell me what happened." She told me I had sex with him, but it didn't last that long. That's what she said. Ooh. And oh. then she told me she had, I had sex with him right here. I did. Oh, so wait, wait, wait. But then Recap. I knew it four years ago. Recap. You used reverse psychology. Yeah, and you I said, said, "I promise you, I won't leave you. Just tell me what happened." She said, "He took advantage of me. We had sex right there, but it didn't last that long because I loved you." I did lie. She should have been a lot about that. If she didn't, if she loved me, and she didn't mean for it to happen, she would have told me right then and there, like, look, babe, I'm sorry, this has happened. I didn't mean for it to happen. At that point in our and relationship, we were already. She told me this we after did not talk left. For so two she would have told me this before so I came to win the baby. At the end of the day, she named the baby that's honestly. why we're here, is because you he claim that, that. that she was intimate with this gentleman and you at the same time. Of course she was. And therefore, she didn't you have doubt concerning the paternity of, of her course, child. Of course, because she didn't even tell me. She named the baby Honesty Love. You admit that you cheated. I, I cheated on Marcel. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. You admit that you cheated. I, I cheated on Marcel. It was only one time. It all takes is one time. Yes. She told me four or five different stories in one hour. So I said, like, two days later, I said, won't you give me the dude's number? Let me Marcel talk to the dude. Marcel had already had the number. He hours. took it out of my phone before he left Michigan. No, I deleted her number, but she worked with him, right? So everybody's number at her job is, is, is on the board. It's on the board. I said, give me his number. It took her two and a half hours to give me his number. So you when I called him, had he already knew happened? what to say. Because she called him. Number. She told him what to say, like, oh, Marcel's so gonna call you. So you called this man. Yes, right. I called him. He called like, this Did you have sex crying. with my girl? And he also said, admitted oh, to this man that he was it. cheating Wait, on me. Wait, what, what exactly happened during this conversation? When you I called him and you say what? He said, yeah, I had sex with her. I didn't mean for it to happen. And it was only for a couple of seconds. That's the same thing she said because she coached him into saying that. I didn't coach anything. And it only happened for a couple of seconds. I know. did feel bad. Let me tell you how I know. Not only did her friend, her co worker told me. Mr. Scott, Mr. Scott, told me. let's get to some of your other reasons of why you doubt the paternity It's of only because of him. Because of him. Because she lied. Just because of this man. Because she lied. To and then she told me, and then, while she printed, she said, I'm still having sex with him. He's a better daddy than you. I didn't say she that. Made, I said that because I know how to get dude. underneath his skin. It, it, it doesn't because make he sense. Custom, he still tries you to control be me doing... throughout the last year that he disappeared on me. And then what happened to your relationship? After I admitted at cheating with him, he pretty much disappeared on me. I didn't, disappear. I didn't talk I to him throughout the whole pregnancy. I came back in October. I came back in October. And that's when I started talking to other women and she knew about it. Okay. So at some point, you discovered you're pregnant. Yes. And you let Mr. Scott know. Yes. I actually had an IUD and I removed it to yeah. get pregnant because we planned honestly. True, true, true. Oh, so we did hold plan on. on. Oh, true, true. Yes. So you all decided you wanted to have a baby together. True, true. Now, when she took the IUD out. But when you tell him, you're pregnant. He denies it. Yes, and then it he, went down he here. disappeared. I didn't disappear. He My disappeared. number was the same. He changed I didn't his go number. Back out there. I put on Facebook. Yeah. I said I cannot. I can't wait to find out what we are having. Two seconds later, he deactivated his whole Facebook because he didn't want anybody to know that I was pregnant. Find out you're pregnant. At that point, do you think that you all are going to raise this baby together? You're posting on Facebook. I, I can't did. wait to find out what. We're having, that I means did. you and Mr. I did. Scott. I did. I did. I thought that we were going to get past what had happened. We were talking about getting past it and get, getting over it. At what point did he then in some way indicate that he had doubts or he didn't want to be a part of the child's life? Once I told him I was pregnant, we fought for about another month afterwards, and then he changed his phone number on me, his Facebook, everything. He changed everything on me. I didn't I talk to Marcel until I was like I have the same address. eight or nine months. I had sent you pictures. Because you I told never received me to. them. Yeah, you did receive I never them received because your them. girl told me that your mama called you and said, "Hey, you have a letter here 
oh, just throw it away. And those were honestly the ultrasound pictures. And I never got no pictures. You knew I, was I never got no That's pictures. That's why your girl told all. me. Your girl told me that. All right, you no received pictures. them and Ms. threw them away. Smith, you have a witness, ma'am. Could you please step up? She ain't a it witness. is I'm finally like 10 minutes. time for you to speak. <laughs> I'm like 10 I'd minutes. like to hear from you. It's a Miss Luzinski, right? Correct. Now, what do you have to add to this? That he's a deadbeat? Tell me that. He comes to Michigan. Crystal paid for everything. She didn't pay he for was everything. so controlling. I offered for them to stay at my house so they didn't have to spend no money. He said, oh, no, I got this. I'll pay for the hotel. Well, it turns around, Crystal paid for the hotel. He would not let Crystal leave the hotel. We had family cookouts so that he could get to know the family. And, oh, no, he didn't want to go. He wanted to stay in the hotel. He, Crystal wasn't allowed to go because he came there to see Crystal, and she, she had to stay there and see him. He was only here for a little bit of time. That's he didn't want to meet the family. He was... When he finally did come out to see the family, my boyfriend's got a son with somebody else. He was so rude to him that my boyfriend, we left. Because he, boys are going to be boys. They're going to play rough. He yelled at his son and said, take that baseball bat somewhere else. Who the hell you think you are? Don't bring that around me. My boyfriend got in that. his face because he, is, he wants to control everybody. He thinks he wants, he's from Hollywood, face. so he thinks that he's this big, hot shot dude, and no, everybody has to respect him. He ain't nobody. They, people in Saginaw, homeless people in Saginaw have something? more respect than he does. Can I say something, please? Can I say he something, ain't nobody. Thank you for that. Please. You may be seated, ma'am. Thank you. So, Ms. Smith, you paid for everything. Yes, I did. Travel did expenses not. and the hotel. Yes, I did. Do you have receipts or some type of evidence Yes, I do. That uh, outlines what you paid for. Yes, I do. Jerome, could you hand me that sure. folder, please? <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so you've got a round trip bus ticket from Palmdale, California to Flint, Michigan, $4.98. <laughs> Hotel expenses for $461. She just Surely, that, she just print that the out. big man from California didn't ride the bus all the way to Michigan. <laughs> Mr. Man. Hollywood Hotshot over here. Man. You were really looking for love. Yeah, man, hey, man, hey, it was a long trip, Your Honor. And very then long, a one-way return yeah, she, it, yeah, she was flight. worth it in the beginning. Yeah, she was worth it. A one-way return it. flight from Detroit, Michigan to Burbank, <laughs> California for $131 and hotel for $410. The total, $1,500. Ah. Uh, Mr. Scott, I'll yes. give you a chance. Yes. Um, your podium's looking mighty empty, but I don't do you need have no documents. I don't need no documents. The truth is right here. You yes, paid too. for as it relates to this trip. Well, if I knew all this was gonna come down, then I would have prepared myself a little more. You should have prepared yourself. But you it don't even matter because I don't even need Mr. no documents. Mr. Scott, you're I don't in need court. Documents. This is your third time you're in court. Well, this I don't is need your no third documents. Time <laughs> that you're before me. It don't, it don't matter. I pay, I, I pay my now, part. Now, you it don't know matter. good and well, I was going to like ask I know. you, in light of this, it's cool. where's the agreement that he was supposed to help you pay or you were loaning him this money? It was a mutual it thing. Was a mutual I was with her for eight months. Because she we was in together, love with me we were as well. I was in love with her. Oh, she was going to so have to move Mr. to California Scott. anyways. So you're saying that it was an agreement that you all were going to go in half on these expenses. That's what we did. That's what we did the whole time. You are actually in your testimony validating exactly what she stated, is that she paid for a certain number of expenses. She paid now, for me to come back home. Now, you oh, don't have that. any proof that you paid for anything because I'm subtracting the $131 one-way ticket back that she spent for you. Because that trip you guys did have. You paid to see her, and she spent the money to get you back. True. I don't have any evidence from you that you contributed to the $498 <laughs> bus ticket. I don't have any evidence from you that says you uh, paid half of the $461 in hotel expenses. Right. And I also don't have any evidence from you that you paid half of the $410 hotel expenses. I don't so owe my that was ruling my woman. is for the defendant That's on this counterclaim in the amount of $684.50. That was you my woman. You owe her. How? That was you my woman. You owe her. Wait, 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 wait. It was a mutual agreement. Wait, wait, wait. Exactly. Don't try well, to fall back. I want to counter no, no. for all my pain Mr. and suffering. Mr. Scott, Mr. Scott, stop talking. You're not going to talk your way out of this. You talked your way into the debt. You're not wow. going to talk your way out of owing it. Wow. See, what you don't understand 
is I've heard you ramble on before. I know you can be charismatic. I know you can yap, 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 yap. But the problem is you yap, yap, yap yourself right into trouble. <laughs> can I say something? $684.50, pay it. Okay. I'm ready for the DNA results. Can you hand me the envelope, please? Really? These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Scott versus Smith, as it pertains to three-month-old Honesty Smith, Mr. Scott, you are her father. Told you. couldn't keep their legs closed. Take care of your baby. Keep their legs closed, Rudy. Take care of your baby now. Now, Mr. Scott, this is the third time you have been in front of this courtroom. <laughs> the last time we were together, I looked you dead in your eye and asked you, I'm not going to see you again, am I? Man, I had to take care and of business. And you said no. He'll be back next year. And I'm going to say this, and I'll leave it be. All of you all want to start these online relationships? It's cool. Just make sure and, you know. Without Never seeing someone in person? <laughs> and I don't know. He led you straight to the water, Miss Smith, and you just drank up the river. Your first sign was when you knew he was going to get on a bus. <laughs> from California to Michigan. Look, I'm from Michigan. I know how long that trip is. you from Flint? When he's going to get on a bus, you knew right then. You should have politely put your little coins back in your purse, <laughs> look, and signed on off the internet. Are we she clear? Couldn't. She could. Are we clear? Yes. Now you all take care of that beautiful baby. Yeah, I'm gonna take care of it. Court is adjourned. Mr. Angelari, you claim the defendant, Ms. Vargas, was married and having an affair with you when she got pregnant. Yes, Your Honor, that's correct. Now, you say she initially told you that you were not the father of her 11-month-old son, but then dropped the bomb that the child was indeed yours... That is correct. ...after her marriage was over. That is correct. Ms. Vargas, you admit that you lied to Mr. Angelari because you say you were trying to save your marriage. Yes, Your Honor. But now that your marriage is over, you claim you are convinced he is the father of your son, and you're here to prove it today. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Angelari, how did you end up in a relationship with a married woman? Well, first of all, Your Honor, Ms. Vargas and I, we were never in a relationship. Okay. We worked together. We were good friends. She would come to me to confide with me over her rocky relationship that she had with her husband. Rocky. That's what happened at first. Then, a few weeks later, she came in, said it's the last straw. I'm completely done with them. Then, next thing you know, we became better friends. She had brought her kids over a few times. We'd go out at night. Uh-huh. We started drinking a lot together. One night, we ended up back at my place. We'd been at the club. We got turned up. We're out there doing our thing. We went to the house, started doing our thing. Our thing? Yeah. Your Honor. <laughs> that night, when, when we, you know, had sexual intercourse, you planned to get me pregnant. I feel like you did. Oh, no, that's a that you may Woo. hear some things that will evoke intense emotion. Yes, Your Honor. But you're not going to clown or act a fool or use inappropriate language in this courtroom. You understand? Yes, Your Honor. I apologize. I apologize. So you got to find a better way to express yourself. All right. I, I can understand that. Continue. Okay. That night, Your Honor, I, I, well, I feel like from the beginning, he's always stalked me. You know, even my friends at, at, at work would always tell me, like, you know, he's looking at you again. Look at and him. And they look said the him. same thing to me. Really? Look, Vanessa's over there really? looking at you. Why would I look at you if I didn't have any feelings for you? If I didn't like I you? I don't know, because really? obviously you're okay. lying again. Yeah, I'm lying. Lie, really? lie, 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 lie. No, yeah, okay. I did not plan nothing that night, Your Honor. No, he We was, had started out no. using protection. He was doing the stalker thing where I would see, I would, you know, he would be looking at me, and I'd, I'd turn and look, and yeah, there he goes, staring at me again. Well, look at you, you're beautiful. Oh, gosh. Come on, now. Any, any kind of man that likes women would stare at you. Yeah. I was, right? I was dressed in, in, in work So wait clothes. a minute. You're at work and you, people are saying to you, oh, he's looking at you. This is making you feel uncomfortable or you just feel like the guy I'm like, thinks you're beautiful? Uh, well, you're looking back. 
You looking back? Yeah, because they would tell me you're staring at me again. They you look back say, and smile though. Okay. You look so back and smile and give me the googly I eyes. I knew I had you. That's why. Huh? Hey, it is what it is. Hold on. So at this point, you're married, Miss Vargas. Your Honor, at the time we were separated. So you two were intimate. Yes, just once. And then you found out you were pregnant. Yes, Your Honor. Were you also intimate with your husband at the time? Yes, Your Honor. A month before me and him had sexual intercourse, we, you know, me and my husband were still. So within <clears throat> a 30 day or less time period, you had been intimate with your husband and also Mr. Angelari. Uh, yeah, yes, Your Honor. She um, told me it was and... over between her and her husband, Your Honor. Okay, so well, she just told the court that she was separated. I, I try to tell people all the time that you're married until you're divorced, but look, that relationship. That's for them to handle. I'm trying to understand, during the period of time this child could have been conceived, mm -hmm. how many possible fathers are there? I, there's only him and my ex. And your ex? Yes, ma'am. So, yes, Your Honor. do you immediately think it was your ex's, or do you think it was Mr. Angelari's, or are you just I clueless? wanted it to she be... She told me the baby was mine, and the next thing you know, she's telling me it's her husband. I wanted to work things out with my husband, Your Honor. I wanted to do you it gotta for him. You gotta face reality. So when you first found out you were pregnant, Ms. Vargas, did you call Mr. Angelari and say, this child is yours? Yes, Your Honor. So you first you told him it was his. I, I first did. Then you decided, I want to try to work this out with my husband. So you tell your husband that it's there his. There could be a chance that it was his. Another lie. And he, no, he was willing, he was willing to take over responsibility even if it wasn't his. But, you know, at seven months, is whenever I got back with him. We actually moved in together. We were trying to work so things out. So you tried out. to work it out? We tried, but it didn't happen. It just didn't work? It didn't work. And, and at this point, did you tell Mr. Angelari, I'm working it out with my husband, I'm trying, you're yes, not Your the Honor. father, you're... I was trying to keep him away, you know, just... And I respected that. You told me one time I yes, didn't contact you, still, you again. Yes, but you were still texting him on Facebook, asking him questions Well, no, I about... said if you want to be a real man about it, you got to let me know if that kid looks anything like me. And you were still... Because I want to know. You were know. still causing problems. We were trying... I contacted like I said, you one time. So wait on... Wait, wait, wait. So what you're saying is after you told Mr. Angelari you were pregnant, you asked him to give you some space because you're trying to work this out with your yes, husband. Yes, Your Honor. I moved away anyhow. You respected that to a certain extent, but in your mind you knew that you could possibly well, have a, a child. Feel, I had a gut feeling, so come September-ish is when I contacted her husband and her saying, you know what, reality, whether you dislike me, whether you like me, you need to let me know if this is my child when the kid is born. That she never told me when he was born. I heard from people around town. Then I run into her mom at a restaurant one day and she shows me a picture and that put the gut feeling back in there. I didn't want Mr. Angelari to be the father. So I didn't want to have it. another kid. I didn't want to have another kid. Well, there we go. But the kid deserves better. He's got to have a mom and a father. I understand that. We need to come yes. to some resolution. And that's why we're here. That's, that's right. Why we're here. Now you're talking my language. Once you saw the picture of this child, the gut, the your gut, gut feeling, feeling came back. Said, Press this back. a little further. Yes, Your Honor. As so got... you say you reached out to them both. No, I didn't even talk to her until, because I have two kids that live in Washington State. When she told me there's no chance, the kid is yours, there's no way at all. Long term, when I was in Texas, I was trying to get back up to Seattle to be with my other two children. I didn't want to get in a serious relationship or have any kids. We like I said, up... I was trying to save my marriage. That's, the, that's what I was trying to do. I was trying to do the right thing, and I felt like I was doing the right thing. Yes, I made a mistake, Your Honor, and I'm willing to fix it. It's the reason why I'm here. Yes, I did take a morning after pill, but there's that 99.9% .9 chance. So I was, I guess that there's one There's a 99.9% chance, point chance that, that you that were one... lying. You felt like she intentionally lied to you and to her husband. Yes, because the first few months, she's telling me I'm the dad. Then I end up getting a job up north. She told me, well, I want to try to work things out with my husband. I don't want him to try to get me for adultery or have anything happen with my children. I said, well, I can respect that. Do your thing. I moved up to Austin. She still lived down in Temple. I was 45 minutes away. I didn't talk to her. One of my friends that lived down in the same area told me, oh, she's getting big. She's ready to pop. So then come <laughs> September, my conscience is really wearing out on me like, well, is she going to tell me? Is she going to let me know something? No, I didn't hear nothing. I moved to Washington. She contacts me on Facebook when the child's Six and a half months old. Okay. That's when, that's when I, I tell me, hey, yeah, he looked. My like husband him. left. I don't have no more money. You got a kid here now. Really? No more money? When you Wait the a one... minute. Wait a minute. So. That's what it seemed like to me. Why did she lie? You were the one asking the me if I needed money. Hey, well, let yeah, me help you, you out because I'm Because feel like you, I'm told, the dad. you told me, well, you have a child here now, so I have a big heart. And if I he told is you my no. kid, I took your word again. And I told you no. I don't need your help. I got this. 
I had, you know, two jobs. And then and I, and then I helped you out. Yeah, you helped me out. But then you kept asking me, hey, you need times. some more help. You need some more help. You need some more help. No, I don't need your help. Well, yeah, because then the belief went away because I, I took a step back and said, hey, she lied to me from the get-go. She lied to her husband. I didn't Perfect. lie to him. I told him there was a chance it couldn't have been his, and he knew that. Then why did he tell me different? Yeah, proof. So, no, Mr. Angelari, do you feel like the only reason she's coming back to you now is because it didn't work out with her husband? I believe if her and her husband were still married, everything was still going well with them, I would never even hear about this. But I also see where she's coming from because she wants her son to have a father. And if he is my son, I want to be his father. I want to be involved in his life. And I want you to be involved. I want you to be there. When did you decide that you felt the child was Mr. Angelari? And beautiful. <laughs> beautiful little boy. You're emotional looking at your child because you feel... He calls me daddy. I'm just hurting for him because I want him to be there for him. And if I'm his father, I will be there for him. But what I, you know, why I thought she was just trying to maybe get some money out of me, I have some evidence I'd like to Absolutely, push sir. What to do you. you have? Pretty much stating after I told her I couldn't give any money, she states that I need you to give your rights away. I hope you stay away and never come around. I'll Jerome, put, can you make excuses? For me? I will put a restraining order he on you. He would always make excuses saying, oh. They weren't excuses, I was it was in reality. The hospital, or I, I was, was in the hospital. I had a seizure or my car broke down or they it would did. always be something. These are messages that say, I need you to give away your rights. I hope you stay away and never come around. I will put a restraining order on you. What kind of mother does that when you think that's the father? What really? had he done to warrant a restraining order? Nothing, Your Honor. So this is just angry it's talk. It's just being angry. Just, I mean, he wasn't there. He would always make excuses saying, oh, I can't, I can't send you money. One time, he said he was going to send me money. I waited at Walmart for him to send the money, and he never called me. I waited at least four hours for him to call me back. He never called. So now... I had a seizure. I was in the hospital. Listen. He says that every single time. But now, well, I, have medical to, record. I, I have to say this to you. When he was there in your face and you wanted to try to work it out with your husband, you said, look, give me some space. I want to try to work this out. Yes, Your Honor. And I think the child is my husband. So he went off. He was born a month early. So I was thinking, hey, maybe it is my husband's child, you know? OK. I I'll even give you that. But you got to give a man a chance to digest it and get prepared and yes, get his Honor. money in order. You told him to go off. And you were going to be with this, your husband. And then when you called him back and said, OK, well, I think he looks like you. This is your child. Get ready to get in gear. He still didn't know definitively. Because, Your Honor, when she told me that, it finally had put my gut feeling at rest. And I, I helped her out a few times. I helped her out with what I could. I did have some medical issues. She might have found it as an excuse. I apologize that I wasn't able to come through on that end. But then I also looked at. Well, she's lied to me on numerous occasions. I lived in the same city as she did until the kid was six months old, five months old. Why couldn't you get a hold of me then? I felt like he was starting to look more like you, and I wanted you to be there. Do you the think reason. he looks like me now? Yes. Because my you... other two kids resemble me, spitting image. Of course, he's going to look like the mother, too. It's not just going to be you. Well, yeah, that's understandable, but I don't see many of my traits. I have straight hair. He's got your lips, your nose, and your ears. He is a handsome boy. Yeah. <laughs> your Honor. Yes, sir. I just want to know, is that my son? And are you going to let me be in his life? And Mr. Angelari, this is also particularly important to you because you didn't know your father. Exactly. I just reunited with my father after 15 years, and it's been great. It's been tough growing up without a dad. And I don't think any kid deserves growing up without either one of their parents. So that's why I want to get to the bottom of this. What was it like for you? I didn't have no structure. I didn't have no direction. I was in and out of jail. You know, I lived with my dad till I was 13. And I was straight laced. You know, I got taken away by CPS by him. And then I didn't see him again until two weeks ago. Oh. And I'm 27 now. So it was very tough. You know, I, I have an older brother that tried being a father figure to me, and he kind of was, but... Do you believe that it was this experience that kept you asking those questions to Ms. Vargas, that kept you trying to figure out, is this my child? Even when you had the doubts, 
you still wanted to know because you didn't want the cycle to repeat itself. Yes, Your Honor. I mean, look at him. Why does he deserve only having one parent? That's why I'm here today. Me too, and that's why I want to know if he's my son, because he deserves better than that. And I know she's a great mother. I know she is. I right. saw her with her other two children. She's a great mother. And you know, I will say this, because I came down on you, you know very what? hard Women... in this courtroom because I wanted you to take this seriously. However, I will say that I have seen many men come into this courtroom, and a woman gives them the out and says, you're not the father. Go ahead about your business, and they do just that. I commend you because you kept persisting to figure out whether this was your son. Yes, Your and Honor. And that's commendable. Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> Ms. Vargas. Yes, Your Honor. What are you feeling at this time? Emotional, because I want him to have a father. And that's the reason why you really tried to work it out with your husband, is because you really wanted him to have I was only trying to save my marriage. That was it. <laughs> and it didn't work. And I'm sorry, I made a mistake. We all make mistakes. We're forgiven. We most certainly all do. <clears throat> now, with that said, are you ready to learn the results? Yes, Your yes, Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Jerome? There you go, Your Honor. Thank you. You're welcome. The results were prepared today by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Angelari versus Vargas, as it pertains to 11 month old Giovanni Vargas, Mr. Angelari, You are the father. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That's all I've wanted. We, like you said, everybody makes mistakes, but it's all about how you come out of it. And today, <clears throat> he now has a mom and a dad. Absolutely. And he deserves it. No, oh, yes, he him. does. He's a great little guy. Yeah. That's my son. Yes, it is. <laughs> would you like to meet him in my chambers? Yes, Your Honor. That would be wonderful. I'm happy this has worked out for the both of you. And I'm even happier that it's worked out for Giovanni. I'll see you in chambers. Me too, Your Honor. Court is adjourned. You.